It is such a privilege to have watched palliative care develop over the last decade, to live in this state and to be able to know that palliative care has blossomed here. Within California, what I'm seeing is a growing movement of people becoming more aware of what palliative care is. I can remember looking on the internet about what palliative care is and how palliative is different from hospice care. And it was very difficult to find that in the beginning. It all always reverted back to hospice. What I'm most proud of in California is our ability collectively to get it done, to go from what was not as deep in communities as it could have been, to now more widespread availability of palliative care. We've had home-based palliative care for eight years and had the pleasure of seeing the progress in California as well, both legislatively as they have embraced palliative care for the medical population, as well as addressing it with the Medi Medi population. I never thought I'd see the day that I would actually combine palliative care and benefit together. I am happy to say that within California, there is a Medi-Cal palliative care benefit. It started with the SB 1004, and since then, other plans have jumped on board to provide that palliative service to their members. That's a huge change that private plans have allowed to do that. We've figured out how to integrate palliative care into most of our big healthcare systems. People's starting to understand the value that it brings to the healthcare system has grown so much in California. I'm just really grateful for the increase of access that I've seen over the last 15 years. Our community is a family. We can work together regardless of what health system, what academic institution we work for, to be able to create systems that care for patients and families better. We're a state of innovation. We're a state with a lot of entrepreneurs. I have not yet met anyone, a policymaker, patient, provider, who when they learn about and understand palliative care, they think, oh, we don't need to do that. No, of course we do. It's just, you know, how do we, how do we weave it in? We have advocacy organizations, we have the on-the-ground providers, we have the state that's supportive of the mission and figuring out how to pay for the mission, and then we have non-for-profit organizations or funders, and that constellation has really made it possible for palliative care to grow in California. It's time is now, and it will continue to be time to put palliative care on the menu, on the list of tools. Keeping those issues at the forefront is important as we consider the coming 10, 20 years of our wonderful state and how we use palliative care to meet the needs of the population.